Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today and a big welcome to those of you who are new. I'm Amy Gretchen and in today's video I'm working on my 2021 December Daily Album and I'm going to be doing days one and two. So as you can see on my desk I have all the pieces to put to get together day one and I actually have all the pieces to put together day two as well. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a disclaimer and let you know that all of these pieces are already done. I've got like everything kind of picked out the way that I want to. I don't normally work that way, but as I was, you know, writing my journaling and trying to design and figure out what I wanted to do with each page, I was struggling so much with my computer. I was having to do everything in really random orders and so it wouldn't have really worked for me to record and do it at the same time. So anyway, you're getting all of the stuff completed already, but hopefully you can just um, easily follow along because I will definitely explain everything um, that I have done. And if you look at previous videos, you will be able to see similar techniques that I have done as well. So what I have is a photo. This photo is a little bit bigger than a four and a quarter by five and a half. I just wanted to be able to cut it down. And then I have a vellum piece. So this vellum piece was actually cut on my silhouette and I did a little bit of print and cut because I wanted to be able to use the foil quill so that I could get some white ink or rather it's white foil onto the vellum. So I just created this in, um, in the silhouette and then uh, did my journaling and foiled it and then cut it out together. And you can see I have it cut out so that it will just cut out my daughter's faces and I thought that that would be a really fun way to just kind of highlight them and then I could flip it and you could see the entire photo. And of course the background really shows uh, the journaling. And then I also wanted to include this file from Paisley Press. So that is, this is something that I created in one of my videos. I will have it linked in the cards so that you can see how I added foil to this card. I went ahead and printed it and added the foil, but if you actually had this card instead of the digital card, you could just foil on the top of it if you wanted to as well. So lots of options there. And then I wanted to, I hadn't yet decided if I wanted it to look like this. I guess it would be like this in the album and then flip it over and have the one or if I wanted to have the one on the outside. So I haven't yet decided, but I pulled over this pattern paper. This is a card from a previous year. I believe it's from Paisley Press as well. And I plan to put this on the back side. So anyway, like I said, I do have all my pieces together. So this is really just gonna be watching me assemble it. If you do have any questions of what I've done, please let me know. But unless I have something more to say, I will probably just let you listen to some music. But if I do, I will uh, chime in with some, with some stuff. This, of course, would be very easy to do if you just printed this with black ink. You could definitely print this with just black ink on your computer and then cut this out and then cut this out with an X-Acto or you could actually use a punch as well. So that would be an easy option to do there. So anyway, let's just uh, get started. And like I said, if I have something more to share, I definitely will.
right, so diving into day two. So day two is all about decorating the Christmas tree. So day one was about finding the tree and day two is about decorating. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the stories and how I'm choosing the stories for these first few days. But before I did that, I wanted to, to kind of dive into the design of this day. So I can't remember if I designed this in Photoshop or Illustrator, it doesn't matter. You could do it in either. But I laid it out in such a way that I was able to do a text wrap around that number two. So the number two is something that I uh, created using the Glowforge. It is a piece of wood and I have a video, if you are interested, I will put it up in the cards so that you can link to it and you can see how I was able to create it. I don't own a Glowforge, but I uh, was able to go to the library and uh, use it. So that might be an option for you in your area. It was a very, very cool thing. But anyways, I made this number and that's how I did uh, my album as well. So if you saw that number 21, that's exactly how I did it there as well. So the one thing that I didn't do when I designed this is I should have created a border so that I could have just easily cut this out, but I didn't. I I failed to do so. And so I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want to put the picture. And the reason why I'm trying to figure that out right now and I'm needing and really wanting it to be in the exact right place is because of the text wrap. And I want to make sure that I punch out the half circle in the photo in the correct place. So I feel like that's why I'm working really hard to try and get this quote unquote perfect, even though it's not going to be perfect, but you know what I mean? I'm trying to get it to fit exactly how I designed it. If you're going to do something like this, I would encourage you to put a thin gray, like a very light gray border around your project so that you could just cut along that border and you do not have to do any of this guesswork. So I feel like this honestly is what took the longest and it didn't need to. So I'm just trying to cut it out and get it exactly right, like I said, and it is again four and a quarter by five and a half. So that is the size of my album and gonna be the size, well, it's not gonna be the size of every page. I'm sure I'll have some pages that are a little bit smaller, but you know what I mean. So I'm working through this design and then I'm going to punch a hole. I believe it is with a one and a half inch punch. And the way that I was able to get the punch in the, the place that I wanted it to, and you'll see that I'm using this paper to kind of help me, I thought that that circle punch was just a little too big. I think that was one and three fourths. So I went and got my one and three quarter. I think the one I'm trying here is one and three eighths. So anyway, I'm just like, you know, getting all of my circle punches to see which one worked best. And I felt like the one and one half worked best. So if you guys don't have any of these punches, I think it is a really great investment to have something like this because you can just easily, you know, get a perfect circle and then instead of trying to cut that out with an exacto, but you definitely could if you didn't have something like that, or you could do a square, you didn't have to be a circle. So you can see that I ended up using that half circle that I punched out of the paper to help me get the punch in the exact right place. You don't have to do that. You don't have to make this exact. Was I trying to? A little bit, a little bit, but it's fine. It only cost me a few extra minutes. So basically I'm done with day two. There are a couple extra things that I do. I have to, you know, make the holes. I did add a little bit, bit of embellishment on the bottom and you'll see that coming up. And then I was thinking about putting some foam tape on the back of that photo, but ultimately I decided not to do that just because I, I think I didn't want to hassle with that little piece on the bottom. So I just decided to leave it flush with the paper, which is totally fine with me. I like how the uh, number ends up standing out. The one thing about this that I think I would change, if like if I could, I can go back, but if I wanted to go back and change it, and I might, I'm considering, is that number two, I kind of want to be red. So I'm considering either painting it or using some ink to kind of dye that wood red. And I've done that before and it looks kind of cool because you can still see the wood texture underneath. 
but um, it's it's red. So I'm thinking about doing that because I, I feel like the photo is very neutral. And then you'll see here as I'm working to find an embellishment, and I actually tried to find an embellishment that was colored, I end up with this black all decked out. I think this came in a Paisley press kit, if I remember from like four years ago. It's very old. You can see me wiping it off because it had like some glitter and it was kind of dusty. So it was, it, it's definitely old. But I've always really loved it, which is why I've kept it in my stash. So I was super happy to use it this year. However, I really wanted to use something that had color. It could have been green. I mean, it could have really been any color. Uh, but I went through like a lot of my stickers and chipboard and things like that. And I just didn't have anything that fit the bill. And so I just decided to use the black. So that is one of the reasons why I'm considering you know, going back and uh, changing that number two or just adding some color to the number two. So we'll see if I end up doing that just to kind of bust up how everything is so uh, natural. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it and then we'll see how I feel as time goes on. So anyway, you guys, that is it for days one and two in my 2021 album. Thank you guys so much for being here and uh, supporting my channel. And like always, if you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe. And of course, if you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me. All right, you guys, we will see you in the next one. Bye.